everybody. Welcome once again to my video blog. If you excuse me for one second, I have an email. I have some random thoughts about emails today. Well, first of all, have you ever been talking to someone and they're looking at their phone, sending email where you're communicating with them? I think what a horrible way to personally communicate with someone. So my first thought about email is don't do it when you're communicating with someone. Put your damn phone down. Second thought, not only can it be a big impediment to personal communication when you're trying to send emails on your smartphone, it can be a huge, huge time waster. Simon Snack in his book, It Starts With Why, talks about that email alert in the background, that bell going off, like giving you a dopamine release, giving you a fix, like a drug addict has a fix, knowing that you've got something there waiting for you. If you can get away with it, check your email two or three times a day. Turn your outlook off as you're working during the day. And I think one of the important things about that is setting expectations with your clients or people you're working with, uh, setting a communication plan, letting them know when you respond to emails. You ever get a long email, like, like a novel, like thousands and thousands of characters. I hate those. I can only make it by probably about 140 characters. Richard Branson in his book, The Virgin Way, says he doesn't like to send any emails that are, that are longer than a tweet. So keep those emails under 140 characters. Timothy Ferris in his book, uh, The 4-Hour Workweek, he says when you send emails, be short and concise, but give if-thens. Did you get the paperwork signed? If yes, please send me a copy. If no, do you know when it will be signed? So then you're not sending emails, you're going back and forth and back and forth. Couple of my thoughts and emails. I hope you enjoyed my video blog. Have a productive day.